Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at SP4 and JN66 from the Star Wars Attack of the Clones line. Now, as always, if you like this video and want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's free, and it really helps out the channel. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at these guys' packaging. Here it is. As you can see, it is a pretty standard card back for the Attack of the Clones line. When you flip it around onto the back, you can see an image of the characters back here, as well as some images of the actual figures themselves. Then down here at the bottom, you can take a look at some of the other figures that you could purchase around the same time. And then finally, there is this enormous block of text. Of course, if you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. So overall, pretty standard stuff. So let's go ahead and get back to the figures themselves here. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with SP4 here. And this little guy stands at three and three quarter inches tall to the top of its little mohawk spikes here. And now this guy doesn't come with any accessories or anything, and he does have fairly basic articulation. We'll go ahead and run through that. He's got a little ball, head, ball peg here in the head. And one thing that's really nice is that this little mouthpiece here is nice and soft so that you're not gonna break it off uh, when you're posing the figure. Same thing with the little mohawk spikes there, which I really do like. At the base of the neck, it has a hinge so you can rock the head forward and backward. He does have little swivels here in his shoulders and then hinged um, joints at the elbows and of course you get this crazy arched uh, range of motion because the joint isn't um, blocked or anything and it's just round. Uh, here at the hips there are swivels. Uh, you do get a, a reasonable range of motion but this guy's not going to be sitting down because of this little flap that hangs down here and honestly I don't think you really need that much articulation on you know a figure like this. Obviously it's a background character and you're probably just going to put it in the background of one of your displays. Now, the other figure here, JN66, is a little bit different. It's kind of a unique figure. It does technically have one accessory, and that is this little removable flight stand, which is on a little ball peg. You just plug it in here on the bottom of the little robot, and it does allow for a little bit of articulation, which is nice. When the figure is posed on top of that stand, it is about, let's say, four and a quarter inches tall or so, four to four and a quarter. And then the figure itself is about, we'll say two and three quarter inches tall to the top of the antenna. Again, this figure has fairly basic articulation. There is a little ball peg in the head, which I really like. It does allow for really expressive posing, you know, especially for something that is, you know, basically has no emotion. It doesn't really have a, an actual face. Uh, you do still get a lot of emotion out of this guy, which I think is really cool. It does have a hinge at the base of the neck, just like the other ones. So you can do this crazy headbang action. He does have swivel shoulders, do swivel 360, and then hinged elbows, again with that cra crazy range of motion. Finally, there is a swivel here at the little thrusters, or whatever these are, um, you know, which is nice. You can get a little bit of extra posability out of the figure. So, overall, what do I think of these guys? Um, you know, frankly, before I saw these figures, um, I had no idea who these characters are. Frankly, even after picking them up, I still don't know who they are, but I love the designs, especially of this one with the mohawk and the little mouth. Um, they're just really funny, um, you know, figures independent of being um, Star Wars action figures. I think they're just really cool little robots. Um, you know, after I found out that they're from this Star Wars universe, I, I love them even more. And I definitely think that if you're into interesting robots or kind of quirky background characters, these are definitely some guys that are worth picking up because I think they're just uh, kind of interesting and unique. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I guess I'll see you later.